Good day, student. I'll be your biology teacher for today. And our topic for today's lesson is excretory system. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to infer that excretion is the elimination or removal of metabolic waste products from the cell or body, which may be toxic or which are in excess of the cell or body needs. In fact, that the removal of waste products in unicellular organisms is by diffusion alone through the cell membrane and also with the aid of the contractor vacuum. Identify and describe different types of excretory systems in animals and plants. Explain the functioning of kidney as an excretory organ. State the main excretory waste products of plants. Excretory systems. Excretory system can be described as the system of an organism's body which consists of the organs that performs the function of excretion. Excretion is the elimination or removal of metabolic waste products from the cell or body which may be toxic or which are in excess of the cell or body needs. Students, what do you understand by the word ejection? Give example of ejected waste. That is correct. Ejection is the removal of solid undigested food substances which are not byproducts of metabolism. Example, Removal of feces from the anus. Do not confuse ejection with excretion. Ejection is not the removal of metabolic waste, while excretion is the removal of metabolic waste. Different types of excretory systems in animals and plants. 1. Cell membrane and contractile vacuole in unicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms such as amoeba and paramecium have in their cells contractile vacuoles which act to regulate the quantity of water that enters into the cells by osmosis. The contractile vacuole expels excess water from the cells as fast as it enters. The energy required by the contractile vacuole is produced by the mitochondria found near the vacuole. Contractile vacuole expels along with the excess water carbon four oxide and nitrogenous wastes. The metabolic wastes not excreted by the contractile vacuole are excreted by simple diffusion across the cell membrane. 2. Flame cells in flatworms. Flatworms, such as tapeworm, planaria, make use of simple tubular system. The system consists of numerous flame cells. The flame cells are found scattered all over the body but are connected by a branching system of tubes. The flame cells collect the waste products of metabolism as they are released by individual cells. Each flame cell is of the shape of a funnel with cilia around the mouth. The cilia beats continuously and thereby suck the excretory products into the funnel. The ciliary movement gives the appearance of a flickering flame, and their description as flame cells. The waste sucked into the funnel pass into one of the excretory tubes on either side of the body. These tubes in turn empty into the surrounding water through the paired excretory pores on the back surface of the organism. We'll be back after the short break. <laughs> 